are back again. So, so this is now all this now all this in just one minute that all this uh, nomenclature your are given below right. So, given below. So, this is this is your mutual inductance of tape to one of coil two. So, see the meaning of this now your suffix right. So, this way you can your what you call uh, you can find out what will be the mutual inductance right. So, L 1 is the self inductance of coil 1 everything is given all nomenclature is given L 2 is self inductance of coil 2 n 1 number of turns of coil 1 given n 2 number of turns coil 2 is given phi 1 is magnetic flux emanating from coil 1 and phi 1 1 one component of phi 1 links coil 1 I told you and phi 1 2 another component of phi 1 links both coil 1 and coil 2 that I used to told you. So, hence phi 1 is equal to phi 1 1 plus phi 1 2 right the total flux. Now, although the two coils are physically separated they are said to be magnetically coupled right uh, because uh, flux uh, 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 part of the flux uh, is linking also the other coil. Since the entire flux phi 1 links coil 1 the voltage induced in coil 1 will be V 1 is equal to N 1 into D phi 1 upon D T because phi 1 is equal to phi 1 1 plus phi 1 2. So, whole phi 1 linking the coil 1. So, voltage V 1 induced in coil 1 will be N 1 into D phi 1 upon D T or only flux phi 1 2 links coil 2. So, the voltage induced in coil 2 will be V 2 will be N 2 into D phi 1 2 upon D T. This diagram this diagram V 2 will be your uh, this number of turns is N 2 into D phi 1 2 upon D T because phi 1 2 links the coil 2 right. So, that is V 2 is equal to N 2 D phi 1 2 upon D T. Now, again as the fluxes are caused by the current I 1 flowing in coil 1 we can write for V 1 we can write because flux phi 1 is caused by your current I 1 because uh, your coil 2 no current source is connected. So, V 1 is equal to we can write the again chain rule N 1 into D phi 1 upon D I 1 into D I 1 upon D T. This you can write L 1 into D I 1 upon D T. So, that means L 1 is equal to actually N 1 D phi 1 upon D I 1 it is actually self inductance of coil 1 right this is self inductance of coil 1. Now, similarly for V 2 case V 2 case we can write again chain rule V 2 is equal to N 2 D phi 1 2 upon D I 1 into D I 1 upon D T this actually it is actually mutual inductance. So, N 2 D phi 1 2 upon D Y 1 we are writing M 2 1 D I 1 upon D T where M 2 1 is equal to N 2 your what you call N 2 into D phi 1 D I D phi 1 2 upon D I 1 this is actually mutual inductance right. So, M 2 1 mutual inductance of coil 2 with respect to coil 1 this is the meaning of the suffix right. So, that here that is why I have written for you sub T 2 1 indicates the inductance M 2 1 relates the voltage induced in coil 2 to the current in coil 1 this is the meaning right. So, uh, the, there should not be any confusion right. So, thus the open circuit mutual voltage or induced voltage right across coil 2 will be V 2 is equal to M 2 1 D I 1 upon D T because flux I 1 actually creating your current I 1 actually creating the flux I 1 and part of the flux linking the uh, your coil uh, 2 therefore, V 2 will be M 2 1 D I 1 upon D T that there it is right. So, V 2 is equal to M 2 1 D I 1 upon D T this is the in your, your induced voltage right due to the flux linking the other coil. So, now similarly if you if you this side this side if you suppose excited by current I 2 and this side it is your V 1 L 1 L 2 this down here also phi 2 is equal to phi 2 is the total flux same as before phi 2 is the total flux is equal to phi 2 2 plus phi 2 1. So, part of the flux your what you call part of the flux of your phi 2 actually linking the other this coil 1 right and this is we are calling phi 2 1, but this phi 2 is equal to phi 2 2 and phi 2 1 then both, but uh, this this is the total flux. So, this phi 2 2 and phi 2 1 both linking coil 2 and this is the voltage V 2 this is V 1 same as before this is mutual inductance M 1 2 of coil 1 with respect to coil 2 right. So, that will be phi 2 is equal to phi 2 1 plus phi 2 2 same as before V 2 will be coil 2 number of turns N 2 N 2 d phi 2 upon d t 
that is n 2 d phi 2 upon d i 2 into d i 2 upon d t chain rule. So, this is L 2 into d i 2 upon d t right. So, L 2 is the self inductance of the coil 2 meaning is same right and V 1 that is the induced voltage due to that flux linking uh, your what you call in coil 1 due to the current in your coil 2. So, V 1 is equal to n 1 d phi 2 1 upon d t is equal to n 1 d phi 2 1 upon d i 2 uh, d i 2 into d i 2 by d t this is again chain rule. So, this part this part is called your m 1 2 that is d i 2 upon d t therefore, V 1 is equal to m 1 2 d i 2 upon d t right, but m 1 2 and m 2 1 are equal that is m 1 2 is equal to m 2 1 is equal to m so, it cannot be different right this way or that way mutual inductance has to be same right. So, m is actually m 1 2 is equal to m 2 1 right. So, this is your equation number I did not put just make step by step it is understandable to you right. Now, so now something I have written keep in mind that mutual coupling only exists when the inductors or coils are in close proximity and the circuits are driven by time varying sources. So, this is I have written for you recall that inductors act like short circuit short circuit to DC right. So, that is why this is written uh, for you that keep in mind that right mutual coupling only exists when the inductors or coils are in close proximity and the circuits are driven by time varying sources. Now, the polarity of mutual voltage this is very this is the only thing we have to see the polarity of mutual voltage whether it will plus or minus m d i by d t is not easy to determine because four terminals are involved right because your what you call that in the coil one side plus minus voltage terminal and in the what you call in the coil two side also plus minus. So, four terminals are involved right the choice of the correct polarity for m d i by d t is made by examining the orientation or particular way in which both coils are physically owned right and applying Lenz law in conjunction with the right hand rule. This is a difficult one right, but for our circuit analysis what we will do we will apply the dot convention in circuit analysis in our magnetic circuit analysis or this thing we will apply the dot convention right. So, by this convention a dot is placed in the circuit and one end of each of the two magnetically coils to indicate the direction of the magnetic flux if current enters the dotted terminal of the coil right. Now, question is suppose suppose this is your what you call will use dot convention suppose this is this is dot is here right. Let us try to understand this suppose a dot is here here we have make the dot and here also dot is there here also dot is there here also dot is there right and your your illustration of dot convention coils are owned here right all the coils are owned here. Now, question is this current I 1 is a direction and I 2 is in direction, direction right in this direction. Now, question is that how to we, we take plus or minus. Now, question is that this is that current entering now it grabs the your what you call you grab the co your coil right. So, in the direction of the current you grasp it right just you curl it right this and this way this is that your what you call this is the flux actually this direction of the flux this is the direction of the flux. So, for this coil 1 actually phi 1 is equal to phi 1 1 plus phi 1 2 because this is the direction ultimately this is the direction it is taking right you grasp in the direction of the current that that called the your what you call in the direction of the current that why this coil is oh, this coil this coil uh, this uh, direction of the current uh, and this coil is owned. So, you grasp it and this is in the direction of the current you grasp the coil and this is in the direction of the current and thumb will indicate your direction of the flux. So, this is coming out flux. So, this is phi 1 2 and this is also coming out from this. So, moving like this because it is linking the coil 1 phi 1 1 and part of this is coming here and linking your the coil 2. Similarly, this side this side also current is entering say I 2 a dot I have placed like this right. So, phi 2 is equal to phi 2 1 plus phi 2 2 here also if you make like this that current is moving in this direction and you you, you grasp the your what to you coil in the direction of the current and this uh, finger is showing like this it is coming to the bottom of this your uh, this your what you call the bottom of this coil this side right in this figure. That means, flux is your what you call coming out from this this is coming out for this that is why this is the thing and that is why this way this is the direction of the flux. So, this is actually phi 2 phi 1 2 and phi 2 1 both are in the same direction that is additive is not it. 
So, but this phi 2 1 actually linking this coil and, and all the phi 2 1 and your what you call phi 2 is equal to your phi 2 2 and plus phi 2 1 all this linking coil 2. So, this way you have to understand the dot convention right. So, if it is so this is illustrative of dot convention that how we do it right. So, let me clear it. So, hope this uh, direction of the flux that how things are coming you have understood what is there this look at the coil see the direction of the current you grab the coil in the direction of the current and direction of the your thumb will be the direction of the flux right and this side voltage is V 1 and this side voltage is V 2 hope you have understood this right. So, so this way dots are used to determine the polarity of the mutual voltage using this dot. Now, question is that suppose dot convention is, sta is stated as follows if a current enters the dotted terminal of one coil the reference polarity of the mutual voltage in the second coil is positive at the dotted terminal of the second coil. This is the language I have written that we will come to that figure another thing if a current enters the dotted terminal of one coil the reference polarity of the mutual voltage right in the second coil is positive at the dotted terminal of the second coil. So, alternatively if a current leaves the dotted terminal of one coil the reference polarity of the mutual voltage in the second coil is negative at the dotted terminal of the second coil right. For a, now if you come if we come to this right suppose this your what you call this current your what you call in figure 10 the two coils are there dot are shown this dots are shown here current I 1 is entering and mutual inductance between this coil is shown by m here it is m the mutual inductance and this is coil to simply written m into d I 1 by d t because current is I 1 and mutual voltage induced in this it will m into d I 1 by d t this is the mutual inductance we are not writing m 1 2 or m 2 1 m 1 2 is equal to m 2 1 is equal to m. Now, in figure 10 the sign of the mutual voltage V 2 is determined by the reference polarity for V 2 and direction of I 1 right. So, in this case current is entering in the or what you call this is the reference polarity is given that is your plus right and current entering into the your dot right and this is the reference polarity. So, and dot is marked here in the reference polarity plus. So, this is actually V 2 is equal to m into d i 1 upon d t right. So, it is it is actually plus sign m d i upon d t. Next is so here it is that is why written determined by the reference polarity for V 2 and direction of I 1. Now, similarly now that is I that is I 1 enters the dotted terminal of coil 1. So, I 1 actually entering into the dot. So, this I 1 this I 1 actually is entering into the dotted terminal right much more we will see. So, and V 2 is the positive at the dotted terminal of coil 2. Therefore, mutual mutual voltage is plus m d i or d i 1 upon d t. Now, this is our reference polarity we have taken this is reference polarity we have taken plus. So, dot actually it is that reference polarity uh, plus we have taken and dot is also the reference polarity plus. So, that is why this way V 2 is equal to m d i upon d t that is why it is written that your what you call that V 2 is positive at the dotted terminal of coil 2 right. So, mutual voltage is plus m d i 1 upon d t. Uh, so, i 1 entering the dotted terminal of coil 1 and V 2 and V 2 is positive at the dotted terminal of coil 2 right. Now, mutual voltage is plus then m d i m d t. Now, next one is that second diagram. So, dot is here and dot is here suppose it is marked. So, current is entering into this dot right, but in this case the reference polarity here it is minus dot is this dot is placed to the reference polarity is minus. So, V 2 will be minus m into d i 1 upon d t this is that the current although current is entering into the dot, but dot is here a reference polarity for V 2 that is here this minus. So, it will be minus m d i 1 upon d t when both are your both sides current are uh, your uh, injected we will see later right. Now, similarly other way also now this side that current i 2 is uh, your what you call your what you call current i 2 is your entering here, but leaving the dot here if you look into that that this is current I 2 current I 2 actually leaving the dot right, but question is that the reference polarity here this is your what you call this is your uh, uh, reference polarity here it is plus and here it is your plus, but current leaving the dot that is why here it is minus 
because you have to see here current actually leaving the dot right. So, that means it is your what you call it is your minus right. So, another another thing is that uh, your uh, that is why it is minus m d i 2 by d t because current here is i 2, but here current is if, if you put the current is dot is here by chance if you put suppose if you put dot is here right then it will be plus m d i 2 by d t, but question is that that current here your what you call leaving the dot it is leaving the dot you have to see the entering the dot or leaving the dot, uh, but the reference polarity although this side is plus 1, but current is leaving the dot. So, it is minus m d i 2 upon d t right. Similarly, similarly if you see here in this case if you see here current actually this i 2 leaving the dot and dot is here in that minus also in the reference polarity is also minus and current leaving the dot that means this will be plus right. So, idea is you know how you remember I will tell you one <laughs> different uh, rule for example, suppose this is plus minus this you mark plus minus right. So, question is that if both dots are here it will be plus if either of these either it is here or here or it is here or here. So, it is plus your uh, plus into plus is equal to your plus right. So, it is like this. So, if it is if it is either is here or is here it is plus into minus. So, it will be minus sign right and if it is minus 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 it will be plus sign. So, that is why it is plus sign this way you can you can easily remember right right. So, this is one this rule will not tell you anywhere right this is just to if you want to keep it in your mind then you will find things are very simple right. You see both dot I mean this kind of thing here it is minus here it is minus right here current leaves the terminal reference dot is this one it is coming plus right. Similarly, if you if you if you if you look here if you look here here it is here it is your what you call here it is plus and here you mark plus minus here it is plus here it is minus. So, plus minus minus right. Similarly, if you put the dot is here and dot is here. So, plus minus it will be your again it will be your what you call it will be minus right. So, this way you can remember right. Similarly, if you come to previous uh, your other two figures here if you look this is this is your if you mark this one this is my plus this is plus minus. So, plus minus look minus has come if you reverse the dot this way also if it is like this then it will also it will become your what you call it will be minus right. So, let me clear it same is for the figure 1. So, same is for your this figure 1 this is plus if you if you mark this one the current is entering you mark this one as a plus and this is minus. So, plus plus so it is plus. So, this way you can write plus 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 minus minus plus plus minus 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 plus minus this way you can do it. So, easy to remember right. So, with this that how to get the sign right. So, dot convention now this one now next one we will take this is your L 1 L 2 that inductance of coil self inductance of coil L 1 L 2 and mutual inductance m is given this side current is I 1 this side current is I 2. So, in this case what will happen that both the cases current is here current is here, but look into that the convention is current is entering into the dot and this current also entering into the dot both the currents entering into the dot that means sign will be plus that is why V 1 if you write it will be L 1 d i 1 upon d t right plus m d i 2 by d t this is V 1. So, this is for your V 1 you write L 1 d i 1 upon d t it is written there, but due to this i 2 that some your voltage will be induced in the coil your what you call coil 1. So, that is a mutual inductance m into d i 2 upon d t. Similarly, for V 2 will be L 2 d i 2 by d t plus m right then your what you call into d i 1 upon d t into d i upon d t this together this is now equation 1. So, this way you can write now if you either of that either of this dot if it is change after some 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 if you put some this dot is here or let me clear it or this dot is here this will be there the in that case your what will happen the sign will change the same sign will change right. For example, if this uh, your this dot is here suppose this is not there. So, it will be minus I told you plus minus minus right something like this right because current actually leaving this dot if dot is here means this current is entering and another is leaving you have to take the minus sign in that case it will be your what you call minus See, here also it will be minus. So, it will be now plus minus right plus minus. So, that is why that is why reversing the dot or reversing the assumed direction of current right 
or voltages in either winding will change the sign of mutual your terms in equation 1. Even the either of the I, I, I told you either you dot or you can reverse the you have to see the current is leaving right the dot. For example, if you if you just instead of this direction suppose current direction is like this. So, that means what it is this is the current the current leaving the dot right and it is entering the dot it will be minus right. You have to see if both current enters the dot it will be plus sign if both current leaves that dot then also it will be plus sign if one current entering the dot apply your dot and leaving the dot then it will be negative sign right. So, this is everything is written here for you. Now, if you that is this one we wrote in time domain. Now, if we want that this will be your frequency domain the reactants mutual reactants will be omega into m l omega we have studied. So, it will be j into omega m and this is my your I current I 1 this is chi 2 I 2 and this is j omega L 1 right and this is your j omega L 2 this is x L 1 x L 2 right x L 1 is omega L 1 x L 2 is omega L 2 and x m is equal to w m that is the mutual reactance right. So, here here sometimes we write sometimes we write x m is equal to omega m this is your mutual reactance and here this one is equal to your x L 2 is equal to W omega L 2 and this one your x L 1 is equal to omega reactance of coil 1 reactance of coil 2 and j is there because it is inductive coil and this is j is there because it is inductive coil and this is your uh, mutual uh, reactance right. So, this is in the frequency domain here we will solve all the problem in whatever little bit in frequency domain. So, now this one now because of this coil be, sorry because of this current a mutual voltage will be induced in this. So, in that case you can write this one I 1 L 1 is there this is the inductor this is L 1 or you can write or you can write if it is reactance you can put omega L 1 j omega L 1 this is also you can write j omega L 2 this is the reactance of coil 1 and because of that a voltage will induce it. So, it will be j omega m I 2 plus minus and j omega because of this current I 2 a voltage will induce and this is your your mutual inductance was m. So, it will be j omega m plus minus and it will be j omega m your what you call I 1. Now, question is just hold on let me. So, this is understandable right instead of L 1 I make reactance and, and this current I. So, voltage is here easily you can find out what will be the current right. So, just let me clear it. So, here this in this equation also in, in, in this equation also same thing you will get what you will do is just remember at this stage you d d t you replace by your j omega. If you replace d by d t this d by d t j omega then you will find this will become j omega L 1 I 1 plus your m j omega m I 2 right. You replace d by d t by j omega in this equation you will get the same thing right. So, so according to that in the your what you call in that your frequency domain the polarity of that induced voltage in other coil is taken. If you put here if you put your d by d t you replace by your j omega this right then this one will become L 1 j omega into I 1 that means basically it will become j omega L 1 I 1 here also it will become j omega m I 2 right. So, that means this is your what you call this equation is written. Now, then I 1 you can easily write I 1 is equal to then V 1 divided by j omega L 1 plus j omega m your what you call. Uh, the, this uh, you can write this equation your v 1 is equal to your i j omega l 1 plus j omega m i 2 right. So, I mean if I mean if you write equations here later we will see how to solve it. For example, if you write v 1 is equal to your j omega l 1 right then i 1 and this is a induced voltage uh, your, uh, your due to the mutual coupling this voltage source is added here. So, plus your j omega m your i 2 right is equal to v 1 a KBL you put KBL here you are applying KBL here right. Later we will see how to solve it we will take some problem we will solve it right. So, mutual inductance as voltage generator. So, this way you can replace in frequency domain it is written here mutual inductance as your voltage generator as if it is make generating some voltage right. So, now two coils are in series if two coils are in series how it looks like look in this case only how to write the equation in this case 
that current I is because this series uh, two coils are there look here in the, take this first coil is dot current is entering into the dot. In the second coil also same current I is entering into the dot that means sign should be plus this is L 1 L 2 their inductances. So, here I 1 entering into the dot of this is one coil is dot mark, dot is marked here. So, current is entering into the dot and this is another coil whose dot is entering uh, marked here. So, current actually entering into the dot of the first coil same current I entering the dot of the your second coil. So, sign should be plus right. So, that is why first if you write the V V is equal to it will be L 1 D I and their mutual inductance between them is M right. So, V is equal to L 1 d i upon d t plus m d i d t because current is same it is a series circuit. So, current is same right plus L 2 d i 2 d t plus m d i by d t because two coils are there. So, repetition will be there in the series circuit twice it will come once because of when you are uh, when you are writing your uh, for this coil it will be it will that m d i d, d t will come uh, for this coil because of this coil and for m d i d t will come here because of this coil. So, repetition will be there right this should not this one should not make any error for this that is why twice it is there you have to as if you are considering each coil in independently right and that that is why twice it is there. So, once uh, because of this coil same current is flowing voltage will be induced here in m into d i by d t. Similarly, because of this coil uh, that current i is flowing a voltage will be induced in just this coil m d i by d t. So, that is why twice it has come. So, V is equal to L 1 plus L 2 plus 2 m d i by d t this is the time domain circuit right. Same thing will happen suppose another thing can happen. So, let me clear it same thing suppose dot is not here suppose I put the dot here of this coil. So, in that case what will happen the current I actually entering into this dot, but the same I leaving the dot right this is not there this dot this is not there suppose dot is here you have made the dot. So, current entering uh, in one coil, but other coil current leave the dot. So, in that case sign of this one should be plus my sign of this one should be minus it will be minus right it will be minus then uh, sorry not this one is here here it should let me clear it that sign of this one will be minus and sign of this one will be minus. If you put instead of dot here if you put dot because here current is entering and current is leaving that means if in that case general instead of plus it will be minus it will be minus then n 1 plus l 2 minus 2 m in general in general actually this should have been l 1 plus l 2 plus minus 2 m because if you put the dot here if current leaves uh, this thing similarly similarly if it happens that this dot is here and this dot is not there and this dot is here. So, in that case what will happen current actually leaving the dot right, but in this coil current entering the dot again it will be minus again it will be minus again it will be minus right. So, that means you are what you call this one uh, sign when you one it is once it is entering another is leaving it will be minus. Now, similarly if you if you if you take uh, if you take another one suppose dot is here and dot is here this dot is not there this dot is not there. So, here also current leaving the dot here also current leaving the dot current both the coils current leaving the dot in that place the sign should be plus right uh, sorry not this one uh, sign should be plus this one and this one the sign should be plus. So, that is why if both the car if the current leaves both the dot or enters both the dot plus sign if the current either of this coil once it is entering the dot another is leaving the dot it will be minus sign right. So, this is time domain now if you come to your uh, frequency domain. So, mutual inductance will be j omega m and this is j omega l 1 j omega l 2 right. So, now because of this a like your 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 what you call that is a circuit with mutual inductance voltage generator. I told you twice it will be rep twice it will be repeated right. So, j omega l 1 j omega m i and j omega l 2 j omega m i right. So, this is uh, I told you it will be repeated. So, this way you can represent the circuit in the frequency domain. So, that means if you now try to find out i then i that if you if you now apply k v l here. So, at basically j omega then it will be j omega l 1 into i 1 j omega m your uh, sorry j omega l uh, i this will be your voltage source it will be I mean I mean writing for you. So, if you make it here it will be j omega l 1 into i then this is plus j omega m i right plus j omega l 2 your i right and then plus j omega m right omega m uh, i 
is equal to V, right? So you can find out what is I, right? So because this is as if this is a voltage source, J omega m I, and this is J omega m I, right? So that's why it is an inductant voltage generator. This way we have to we conceive it, right? So that's why what I have written here, right? This is what I have written here. So ultimately it will become I is equal to V upon J omega L1 plus L2 plus 2m, right? If it is the way we have taken and all versions I have showed you how to take it, right? If the dot on one coil uh, reverse the sign of the mutual the, uh, your uh, term either in equation to or in equation to will be minus. I explain everything to you. That means the equivalent inductance of the two mutually coupled coils connected in series it will be L1 plus L2 plus minus 2m, right? I mean if you if you just one of the coil if you just change its position, right? So, it will be L1 plus L2 minus 2m, right? So, that means in general it will be L1 plus L2 plus minus 2m, right? Since the net inductance must be positive, so it will be L1 plus L2 greater than equal to 2m. This is equation 6, right? It has to be greater than equal to 2m. Now, when two coils are in parallel, suppose these two coils are in parallel, that is series. Now, this is a parallel. What we have done it here that current is this cyclic current is taken I 1 and I 2. So, in the direction of the, in the direction of this one it is I 1 minus I 2 it is marked here and here the current is cyclic. So, this is current is I 2 that means I 1 minus I 2 entering into the dot I 2 the current I 2 also entering into the dot right. So, whenever when and this is in time this is uh, what you call and this is actually frequency domain that means this is two dot and this is the mutual reactance J omega m it is written here this is j omega l 1 and this is actually j omega l 2 and rest are same, right. So, as the two currents are entering into the dot i 1 minus i 2 entering into the because this, this direction is i 1 and this direction is i 2 we have taken the resultant in this direction. So, i 1 minus i 2, right. So, i 1 minus i 2 entering into the dot i 2 also entering into the dot. So, that means this way we will I go for your dot convention means when you write the equation plus sign will come and this is the mutual inductance m. So, if you write like this, this is this this equation. So, they are like your that is same way we are putting that mutual inductance voltage generator in frequency domain we are writing it. So, I 1 minus I 2 is showing j omega L 1 this will be j omega m I 2 right. So, plus will be the plus minus will be there because both I 1 I 2 entering the dot I 1 I 2 entering the dot that means along with your this drop it will be additive right little bit be careful about this if i change the dot from here to here l2 suppose after the top if i put the bottom then polarity here will change right you have to be careful about that so similarly here also due to this i1 minus i2 voltage will be induced here so j omega m into i1 minus i2 right so you now what you do is there are two messages are there so what you can do is you try to find out what will be V upon I 1, what will be your V upon your I 1, right. So, so, here you apply KVL, here you apply KVL and solve for I 1 and I 2. So, I am, I am giving you the final solution, so some time will be saved, right. So, in this case if you solve it, if you solve it, it will be your what you call, it will be actually small I 1, here it is capital I 1, actually it, it should have been. Uh, uh, by mistake I have a capital and V upon I. If you solve it, it will be your j omega into L 1 L 2 minus solve for your j d q V upon I 1 if you solve it, it will be j omega L 1 L 2 minus m square divided by L 1 plus L 2 minus 2 m. I suggest you please derive this from the previous circuit. That means, from here, from here you please derive this from here, right. You derive this from here. You apply K V L and solve it for V by I 1. So, you will it is small I 1, right, a small I 1 you will get this. Now, look at that whether m is negative or positive m square will be always positive right and it is L 1 plus L 2 minus 2 m. So, equivalent inductance will be L equal to L 1 L 2 minus m square divided by L 1 plus L 2 minus 2 m right in this target. The sign of m in the denominator of equation 8 this is equal, it changes with the dot polarity, but the numerator does not change since m is a, the, your what you call m square is positive. That means, if you put the dot if you interchange the dot right then sign will change, sign of m will change, right. That means, this equation, that means this equation it become it may become plus also this uh, the denominator, right. 
So, you have whatever whatever uh, dot we have taken according to this become minus if you interchange the dot and solve it, it will become plus right. That means, this your m is negative or positive the, the, your it will be here it will change, but here m square is always positive right. So, that is what is written here right. So, equation 6 we have established that L 1 plus L 2 greater than equal to 2 m that means, m and here for since overall inductor that is for series circuit we have seen series circuit L 1 plus L 2 greater than equal to 2 m and the overall inductance must be positive if L 1 minus uh, your L 1 L 2 minus m square greater than 0 right. Here we have established that L 1 plus L 2 greater than 2 m that is always positive here also for making positive L 1 minus L 2 L 1 L 2 minus m square greater than 0 greater than equal to 0 or m less than from this equation from this equation m less than equal to L 1 plus L 2 by 2 and from this equation m less than or equal to root over your L 1 L 2 right. So, this is arithmetic mean and this is geometric mean right. So, geometric mean is always less than arithmetic mean that means, this value this is the so this is the value we have to taken for example, suppose you have you have a two number say 3 and 5 which arithmetic mean is 3 by 5 by 2 is equal to 4 right. But if you take it geometric mean it is 3 into 5 which will be root 15 right. So, this is geometric mean it is less than your what you call less than 4. So, geometric mean is less than the arithmetic mean except they are equal if you take both are same 4 4 then both will be same right. So, that means, equation 10 states that a mutual inductance must be less than the arithmetic mean of L 1 and L 2, while equation 11 states that mutual inductance must be less than the geometric mean of L 1 and L 2, but geometric mean of L 1 L 2 less than the arithmetic mean of L 1 L 2 if they are not equal. For example, that means, root over root over L 1 L 2 you are less than equal to L 1 plus L 2 divided by 2 right. So, if L 1 I mean it will be equal only when L 1 is equal to L 2 otherwise it is less than right. So, therefore, therefore, the maximum value of mutual inductance can be taken as m max is equal to root over L 1 plus L 2, but not L 1 plus L 2 by 2 right. Therefore, from equation 11 we define that we get m by root over L 1 upon L 2 is less than equal to 1 this is equation 13. Therefore, we define k is equal to say this term k is equal to m by root over L 1 L 2 this is called coupling coefficient and k lying between 0 and 1 right. Physical meaning of k 1 is that all the flux produced by the current in one of the coil links the other right. So, if it is k is equal to 1 iron cone transformer k is approximately equal to 1 and air core coils k much much less than equal to 1 that is very very small right. So, with that thank you very much we will be back again.